Hi Pisces, welcome to the channel. I am Sag Moon Diva and I'm going to be doing a love and relationship spread for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Romance Angels and then get into my new box. I uh, just created this box of love. It has a lot of different messages here and uh, see what we can pull from it. So let's go ahead and get started. Please give me a detailed message on what's coming towards Pisces. Please give me a detailed message on what's coming towards Pisces. You have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. The next card is Romantic Feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your next card is Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Now let's get into these messages. Let's see what your person is thinking. Marriage. Wow. For some of you, <clears throat> this could be a married couple that are coming through, but this could also indicate that someone is interested in marriage. Oh, wow. Soulmate. Someone has a soulmate out there. Broken vows. Oh wow. Did someone break their vows in a in a marriage to their soulmate? Wow, we shall see. Mm. This is definitely taking a turn I was not expecting. Let's see, we got two more cards, okay? I will make this up to you. Wow. Someone is definitely looking to right the wrongs from a situation here. And honestly, I cannot wait to get into the rest of the cards to see this. It says, wow, I can still taste you. So not only is someone wanting to make something up to you, someone cannot get enough of you physically. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull some cards that can make all of this come together. Let's see, I'm going to go next into the Lover's Oracle and see what I can pull from there. Please give me more details into this situation with Pisces and their person. Please give me more details into the situation with the Pisces and their person. It says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Wow. So for some of you, uh, maybe after the situation that has taken place where someone has uh, possibly betrayed your trust, it's time for you to put this time that you were spending in this relationship, in this marriage, in this situationship. You need to put it towards yourself, taking care of yourself, giving yourself time to make sure that you have made the right decision. Because just like here with the Romance Angels, it said clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is definitely the time when you need to pull back. And even though... This card has two people on it and it's talking about retreat. This could also indicate that you in this situation need this time to disconnect from the world, okay? Some of you are definitely, definitely in hermit mode. Uh, you're taking this time to yourself and you're trying to figure out what is your next move. Should you stay or should you go? And uh, yeah... Uh, definitely going to look more into this. This next one says passion, okay? There's definitely a very strong passion between you and your person. It says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. 
So this next card here says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. It says have some fun together and remember that love is the greatest healer. I've been getting this card in, a, um, in readings a lot. Where sometimes you can be in a relationship with someone and then life happens, okay? Kids and, and responsibilities of work, etc., etc., to the point where you kind of forget that you still need to have fun with your partner, to love your partner, to spend time with your partner, just to be reminded of the person that you gave vows to, you chose to date, you know, whatever your situation. And it is definitely important not to forget that in any type of uh, relationship. So let's go ahead and see uh, if we can kind of look further, maybe see if we can figure out uh, for some of you what this is about this broken vow. Okay. Please give me more clarification on the broken vows. Please give me more clarification on the broken vows. Okay, you have the chariot, then you have the pen the ten of pentacles, and then you have the eight of chalices. So with this chariot card, uh, this is a person that is definitely going to be coming in quickly. Uh, this person wants to come in and want to make things right because uh, <clears throat> this is going to be what they consider a fruitful time for them. Okay, because when you have that Ten of Pentacles, it is bringing in abundance. Okay, so this person is bringing in abundance and they want to come towards you. They want to manifest things and make this situation work between the two of you. Now with this Chalices in Reverse here, you are very hesitant to come towards your person. You no longer trust them and there's a lot of issues inside of your relationship. And it could even indicate that there is... No talking, no emotions that are being expressed with each other during this time. And I want to go ahead and look further into this using my starter tarot. Please give me more clarification, please, for the Pisces in that person. Please give me more clarification until the Pisces in that person. Okay, so at the bottom of the card, you have the strength card. Okay, you are gaining control over this situation. Okay, you've been taking action. You have a lot more energy during this time. You are starting to feel better, um, <clears throat> gaining a lot of confidence at this time. And So for the overall of this, you have the strength card. Okay, you are definitely in your element right now after going through this hardship. You're in a situation now where you are in control and you are feeling much more confident during this time. Okay, this situation, yeah, it hurts and it still continues to hurt, but you're not allowing yourself to wallow in this situation. Okay, only thing that is bothering you at this time is trying to decide which direction that you want to take. Now, the thing is, regardless of the direction you want to take, your person is definitely coming back. Okay, you have here, you have the eight of wands. Wait a minute. Hmm. So you have this eight of wands here and it is in reverse. Yeah, you definitely come out of a period with your person where there's been a lot of disputes. Or there's been a lot of issues with um, jealousy. There's been a lot of fighting. It's just been a lot of domestic situations. And for some of you, this could have possibly gotten violent. And the person that you're seeing, it could be... An air sign, okay? Because not only do you have the Knight of Swords in your side of the reading, you also have the King of Swords. So, <clears throat> okay, guys, um, I was going to stop this reading and just try to create a new one or just pick up at another time because it just seemed like my energy was very low. And I'm, I don't know if this is 
me or if this is coming from the energies that I'm pulling in. But for someone, um, someone, the energy of somebody that is very exhausted. I'm not it, very exhausted. It could be that this person is experiencing some type of a lack of sleep. That could be the case. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get back into this reading. And um, for your side, you have the Seven of Cups. You have the Death card. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the King of Swords. And you have the Queen of Coins in reverse. So uh, for you, you are going through this transformation. Uh, like I had mentioned before, you're feeling like a different person. You've gained your confidence back. Uh, this situation in the past, it had caught. That's what it was. You were feeling very slow to change in the past but now you've gotten to the point where you've gone through this um this transformation okay with this death card okay you are clearing out the old you're making way for the new and this is this was like an abrupt change okay for some of you this was something that you immediately found out about okay for some of you it even caused you sickness it even called it even affected your health um when you had this um this this hurt this situation this vows being broken uh by your partner and for you you are still in this stage right now where you are confused Okay, you're confused. You don't know which um, decision to take because, like I said, everything happens so fast. You have the Seven of Cups here, okay? And you, it happens so fast for you. And you are now trying to get into a point right now where you are trying to get the will, trying to gain the willpower, the strength to come out of this and to come out of this and make sure that you're not going with somebody and, and hearing things because some of them are coming back. And they are saying words to you, but you're you don't want to fall for a fantasy. That is the fear that some of you have. You fear that you're gonna go back to somebody who's gonna give you false promises, and you don't know whether or not you're gonna go back to this person and you're gonna end up in the same situation that you were before. Because the person that you're seeing, okay, you got the knight of swords and you got the king of swords in your reading. This could strongly indicate that uh you guys are seeing an air sign okay a gemini an aquarius or a libra and when you have this king of swords in a reading this is someone that is pretty much like blank faced okay this is the type of person that is not going to give you anything it's like you're searching for answers this person is not talking to you only thing that they're doing is just basically giving you sort of surface level type of answers into the situation and it's been very frustrating for you because you don't trust this person and the more that this person shuts down the more that this person doesn't talk to you this makes you in turn feel more untrusting of this person okay because you have and for some of you you're holding on to this fear of failure and this is why you haven't left this marriage or this long-term relationship or situationship you haven't left the situation because you have a fear of failure, okay? A fear of what others are going to think for some of you. A fear of feeling like you've been neglected. You know, some of you have really deep-seated issues with neglect. And, but you can't hide the fact that there was so much suspicion that has taken place in this situation. That in the end, your, what you felt unfortunately was proven right this person wasn't who you thought they were this person was doing what you were hoping they weren't doing and for some of them they could have been involved okay you got a queen of coins on your side of the reading this person may uh even though this has to could do with you as well as far as um being suspicious and stuff like that that is what comes up when you have the queen of coins in reverse this could also indicate that this person may have been involved with an earth sign okay a taurus they could have been involved with a virgo or a capricorn and you found out about it this person may have even confronted you about this situation may have told you what this person was doing and it just left you completely shocked Now, here's the thing. Um, there's a very strong connection between the two of you because for you, you have the Queen of Coins on your side. And then for your person on their side, they have the Knight of Coins, okay? This is a um, a perfect pairing, okay, in, in the court cards for the coins. And 
both of you are kind of have the energy of being people that are like um, very mature, uh, very prosperous people. They kind of love to live the good life. And um, you, you always consider this person to be very dependable, okay? Somebody that you can trust. And then all of this came to a halt. Okay, for some of you, yeah, you're definitely married, okay, because you have the Emperor card here, and the Emperor card is the card of the husband, okay, and I'm wondering if, now this person could have met someone, the person they could have been involved with is someone that they work with. Because this person definitely works a lot, okay? They spend a lot of time working. And this could have been where, if they were involved with someone, they could have been working with this person. Hmm. But this person is definitely going through a period in their life right now where... Since this incident has come out, this person feels very empty. This person feels very empty. Yeah, with that queen and that king, it could definitely signicate. I'm sorry, um indicate that yes this could be a soulmate couple and that this person is uh really hoping to make this work with you after having broken their vows and for yeah for for majority of you you're definitely in a union that has been broken by some form of infidelity And it definitely could involve uh, you and well, I'm sorry, not involve you, but it could definitely involve your person could definitely is coming in very strong as an earth sign, possibly a Taurus. So let's go ahead and get into the monology deck and see what we have. Please give me some clarity on the Pisces and their person. Please give me some clarity on the Pisces and their person. Yeah, it keeps mentioning the same thing about bringing love in. Okay, it's telling you to show the world the real you. Maybe you've been holding back, okay? Maybe in this relationship you felt like you weren't yourself, okay? And then um, it kind of felt like you may have lost yourself in this marriage or this relationship, this situationship. And it's time for you to gain control of your life and show who you really are. Okay, and it says the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, the more that you take this time, you retreat, you stay to yourself, you're going to be building yourself to a much stronger person. Okay, and if this is the person that you are supposed to um, stay with or end up with, it says bring love into this situation. Okay, because just like it had in the other part of the reading where it talked about um, bringing that playfulness back at some point. It went from there being a lot of love in this relationship to there being a lot of fighting, a lot of headbutting, a lot of uh, someone always having to be right. And sometimes, you know, everything doesn't have to be an argument. And if you all have chosen to get past this um, possible infidelity, then and you chose to stay together, then that's where you should leave that situation at. But you cannot get past it until you work through it, okay? And if this person is not willing to open up, especially if this person has vowed to be your partner for the rest of their life and they can't open up, you have to ask yourself, is this really what I want and is this what I deserve? Truly ask yourself, is this what you want? Is this, is this what you deserve? So, I'm going to go ahead and close this out with one more one more message and see what we pull up. Wow. It looks like you might be the one that have to make the first move. Because the last card is saying, call me. 
If you feel like this situation is worth working through or at least wanted to hear this person out, um, if they decide, because they're definitely coming through, if they decide to talk to you or they've tried to talk to you, maybe you had them blocked, maybe this is the time to unblock that person, have that conversation. Even if it's just about giving you closure so that you can move on, okay, call this person, see what this person has to say, spend time with this person to see if this relationship is worth salvaging and if it's not, it's not. It's your life at the end of the day and you get to make this choice no matter what anybody around you think. This is your life. So if you guys enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. Thank you all so much for taking out the time to watch this video. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.